and welcome to this edition on career pathway exploration. My name is Sahana Prasad and I'm currently a senior at North Bend High School. In this ongoing series, we will be talking with community members in a variety of careers about how they arrived at their respective careers and what advice they can offer students on how to be successful no matter what career path they choose after high school. Joining me today is Nate Heller. Thank you so much for coming um, on our little talk show. Um, so go ahead, take a moment to introduce yourself and we'll get started. Yeah, no, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, like you said, uh, my name's Nate Heller, um, North Penn class of 2013. Um, currently now working in Ardmore, PA, which is about 30, 40 minutes from the Lansdale area at Marion Golf Club. At Marion, I'm on the uh, ground side of the operation. So my title is Senior Assistant Superintendent. So typically on a daily basis, I'm working with the head director grounds and prepping the golf course and kind of just getting ready. Um, but yeah, so working down at Marion along with the, uh, the grounds department. Awesome. Um, so my first question for you is, how did you end up in that position? What was your journey from, since, from the moment you graduated North Penn to college and ultimately to where you are now? Yeah, so I guess it all started off kind of back in like middle school area. Um, so I always enjoyed working like outdoors, being outside, um, worked in landscaping, kind of had my own side business where I'd cut lawns, do some tree work on the side, um, but also at the same time I was playing sports. So during high school, I'd either, especially weekends, like I'd do landscaping in the morning and then I'd play baseball afternoon and around night. Um, so I just took that, my two passions of kind of sports and landscaping, and I wanted to do something with it. I didn't want to go into landscaping because that wasn't, it really didn't interest me all that much. Um, so I did some looking around and kind of found out that Penn State has a really good um, turf grass program, which honestly, I didn't even know was really a thing, um, even before, like until graduating North Penn. Um, so within the turf grass uh, degree in industry, it's pretty much you learn every single bit about the turf grass plant going from fertilization, you're talking the disease, insects, or everything that goes into the science behind the actual turf grass plant and taking that to a high level whether it be a golf course, a sports field, anything in between. And uh, so I kind of took my two passions of sports and being outside landscaping and kind of molded it together and also helped that. I kind of grew up in one of those families that a lot of my, like my brother, my mom, aunts, uncles, cousins all went to Penn State. So I kind of knew where I wanted to go. And that was kind of like the final push that made me say, yes, I want to go to Penn State just because it had such, it's one of the, like one of the country's top, um, programs for turf grass science and it's just one of those things just happened to be the perfect fit and kind of sealed the deal for me yeah no I definitely think it's an awesome thing that you're able to blend your passions and I think that's something a lot of seniors are probably thinking about and juniors too as they're going into college so um in your current job or even within your journey itself how did you navigate any challenges that arise or any unforeseen circumstances yeah I mean it's just well it's yeah, obviously you don't know. So the biggest thing I would say to people is just try as much as you can, experience as much as you can, whether it's something within within your degree that you want to do or even not, just try to experience as much as you can. And like the biggest thing that I found was that putting myself in uncomfortable situations, because anytime I found that, that I pushed myself to do something I didn't necessarily want to try. It, I always grew from that, like just from different experience, whether it's joining a different club or trying a different, taking a class or doing a certain job, it's putting yourself in those uncomfortable situations that you know you don't want to do, but you know you have to do, mm -hmm. makes you really grow um, because you learn on the fly, you have to adapt. Um, and that's just making those adjustments and having to adapt to overcome. I mean, it's really, really one of the key things that I found because I mean most people you don't know what exactly what you're getting into you whether it's your major or your career what you're doing um it's just my I guess what I would say is what I'm to recommend is just try and experience as much as you can um because you'll get certain things out of it that you don't normally wouldn't like wouldn't get um and having said that another thing would be is yeah you want to find out what you like and don't like but also finding out what you don't like is also just as important as finding out what you do like. And it's kind of, kind of weird, but it's one of those things where, all right, now I know, okay, I thought I want to do this, but it actually wasn't turned out to what I thought it'd be. Now I want to try this. Um, so just getting out and experience and 
just putting yourself in those uncomfortable situations really, really helps you grow. Yeah, that's pretty good advice, I have to say. <laughs> um, and I would have to say, what is something that you enjoy the most um, at your current place of work? Honestly, it's very simple. Like I was saying, I love what I do. I love being around the golf course, um, having grown around like baseball, golf, being outside. But every morning, like just the satisfaction of just getting to see the sunrise every single day, being outside, um, being a part of a large crew and kind of getting to run them. So on a typical day, we'll come in probably around 4 30 5 o'clock in the morning um so we get in about an hour before our crew gets here and we'll kind of talk about what the other like another assistant and superintendent whether what we're going to do whether we're going to mow spray fertilize like we'll map everything out the morning and we'll execute about an hour after so you'll go through the morning reading i'll go through the morning meeting i'll give out assignments um typically in the summer we have about 40 to 50 guys um, on our golf course and uh, and it ranges from all over we have guys that are interns just for a couple months we have guys part-term but we have guys full-time kind of everything in between um, and so we'll go through the morning and our biggest time is the mornings so it's the only time of the day that we have the golf course to ourselves once play comes out and it's pretty much just the I just really love just as the organized chaos aspect of every day you're along, you're along for the ride and you see where it takes you. And like, it's just the, just being outside and it's such a historic golf course that I'm at and just being, just being able to be a part of the operation. Um, it's, it's a, it's a cool satisfaction. It's one of those instant, it's, you also get the instant, uh, instant gratification where at you can, you plan all these certain things and like you see them kind of unfold and like just the way you operate and plan where certain things like in order to do X, Y, and Z, you have to do A, B, and C and trying to plan ahead and kind of put the pieces of the puzzle in together. Um, it's just really satisfying and just something I really enjoy the game and like putting, playing the puzzle and doing as much as you can in order to make that top 10 golf course quality, um, which mm -hmm. what we try to do on a daily basis, almost essentially, trying to put us open conditions on a daily basis. Awesome. Um, so you kind of touched on this in the answer that you just gave, but what skills do you think are the most needed to be successful uh, in this type of career? Um, honestly, the biggest thing is attitude and effort. Um, it, it's, that's the number one thing. I mean, especially, I mean, not even just in my industry, I think in most industries, it's that they can teach you a lot. I mean, you go to school, you learn all that you, you learn all the things you need to learn and yeah, you pick up a lot, you lose some, it is what it is. But the biggest thing when you do get to that job or profession, whatever that might be is, it's just attitude and effort showing up on time. And like, even being on time is late, just being early, putting in good hard days work, having the attitude, giving effort, because that's what we look for guys. When we hire guys on the crew, when we hire guys coming out of school, which is, attitude and effort that's the biggest thing because we can teach the rest and we can mold you but you, we can't do anything if you don't have what it takes the effort or the attitude um and i think that goes for almost any industry um just giving everything you can and just trying your best because that's all we ask for yeah um definitely a lot of good advice that i think a lot of north penn students have probably heard um throughout their career and probably what they will continue to hear as they move on to the next part of their lives and so any other last advice or last pieces of word, last words of wisdom for North Penn students in the community? Yeah, I mean, kind of what I touched base a little bit earlier. It's just wherever you are, um, just get involved. Um, so when I was at North Penn, I was heavily involved with baseball team. Um, and I was also heavily involved with the music program. So I played trumpet. I played trumpet in the wind ensemble, jazz band, brass ensemble, chamber ensemble. Um, but I also played baseball, which is almost as a full time gig in itself and just trying to find that balance, but also just getting to see and do as much as you can. And then taking kind of that same mindset and like taking it to school. Like when I went to Penn state kind of did the same thing. I just try to immerse myself as much as I could get involved. So at Penn state, um, I was part of, I actually took some of my music passion and brought that up there. And I was part of the pet bands. I got to play at the hockey, basketball, volleyball, um, which actually ended up letting me travel with those teams when they went to tournaments. So I got to travel all over the country for free on the flight. They paid for flights, hotels. Um, just one of those weird things. I just get involved. I was also part of THON. I know North Penn now has THON. Um, and it's just, you get to meet some incredible people. You get to do some incredible things. Um, 
And I was also a part of like our turf club, which is kind of a almost like a speaker series where throughout the semester we'll have once a week, we'll have speakers. So different superintendents from like the area or the state um, come in and talk about their experience. Um, but just the biggest thing is get involved, try as much as you can, see as much as you think, uh, as much as you want. Um, and I guess the other thing to think about for other, for people looking for industries or what they want to do is that bottom line, find what you want to do. It's find what you're passionate about, what you're good at, because when it comes down to it, you're going to have to do it for a good chunk of your life. And like, you might as well be happy if you're working and doing something that you love, because like I said, you're going to be doing it for the next 30, 40 years. So really find something that you really like, but also finding something that gives you that work-life balance. Um, that's one of the things I've kind of struggled with because it was just with my job, especially in the summer. Um, we can work upwards of 70, 80, 90 hours and trying to find that work-life balance is, has been kind of difficult, but it's, you just got to, yeah, you got to find that fine line. Um, but that's one of the biggest things. And I guess like a saying that I really like, um, which I think is kind of pertains to this as well as just, bloom where you're planted so that you might be like dealt a bad, a bad hand, or you might not get a certain promotion or get certain, a job that you thought you're um, qualified to get. But it's one of those things is, all right, this is what happened. This is what I'm going to do. And this is how I'm going to make it work. So just bloom where you're planted and just make it work and do as much as you can. And uh, I mean, that's about it. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today. I, I have to say, I think a lot of that was really helpful and really will resonate with a lot of North Penn seniors and uh, underclassmen. So we appreciate your time to offer career advice to the students of North Penn. No, awesome. Yeah. Thanks for having me. And uh, if anyone has any questions about like the turf industry, working at golf courses, um, feel free to reach out to my email um, from uh, Mr. Brett. He has that. So anybody wants to reach out any questions, just kind of curious about the industry, feel free to reach out. Sounds good. You can watch all our episodes of the Career Pathway Exploration Series on the North Penn Television YouTube channel at youtube.com slash NPTV. I'm Sahana Prasad. Thank you for watching with us today, and we'll see you next time on Career Pathway Explorations. Mm -hmm.